could you tell me what you were trying to achieve in the case today here in Cologne? Well, the claimant sued the German government so that the government takes action to stop the use of Rammstein in the drone war. And uh, we achieved at least that the victims have uh, standing before German courts um, so that the court has to go into the merits of those cases. Um, nevertheless, the court ruled um, that there's a wide uh, margin of discretion by the German government uh, in which actions they take in foreign policy and uh, defense policy issues. But we think um, it's still positive because the court also found that the use of Rammstein in the drone war, as we described it in the lawsuit, um, is plausible and, and was a good and well-founded presentation. So the German government can no longer say that they don't know what's going on, on in Rammstein for the drone war and they still have to take uh, political consequences um, of the use um, of, of the air base uh, for the drone strikes. I, I think it's unusual that this court has said that these kinds of victims have standing here. As far as I know, they don't have standing in any other court of, uh, among the NATO countries. Is that the case? Well, it's very positive that now, at least in Germany, it's acknowledged that victims of drone strikes have standing here because of the use of the Rammstein Air Base. Um, that gives some hope that um, also in future cases um, the facts might be different or another decision might be taken. Um, this also includes, of course, an appeals level where we will go next um, and to, to see is whether we can even achieve a better judgment there. The court did accept the evidence about how Rammstein is being used? Well, the court acknowledged that um, based on testimonies by um, former drone pilots, by uh, media reporting, by um, documents which are in the public domain, it can be well established that there is another function um, of Rammstein in the drone war, as the U.S. government and also the German government say. So indeed, it's included in the drone war. Um, it's used for the data transfer, at least, but um, probably also for the uh, use of the analysis of um, surveillance images and so on. So um, nobody can deny anymore that Rammstein plays an important role in the drone war. We think politically um, more needs to be done here, um, but the court um, took the argument that there is the wide discretion of the government to, um, to decide and that the court cannot interfere in this discretion. In other words, the German government, the court cannot tell the German government whether Merkel should be talking with Obama or whether uh, they should uh, send investigators to Rammstein or how they want to handle it. Exactly. The court did not uh, rule that the German government has to do anything about that. They say it's a political question, so it's up to the executive branch to take decisions how to address the um, use of Rammstein as it has been established. Did the court indicate that the German government should do at least something about this? The court said the German government needs to take some action and acknowledge that the German government um, entered into a dialogue with the um, American side and uh, that this dialogue um, most likely will also continue. We think that's not enough um, and that's probably a topic for the appeals here. So you will be appealing and, and how, what is the timing for that? What grounds can you bring for your appeal? If you can share those already, I don't yeah, know. Yes, there will be an appeal um, within the next three months and potentially another appeal hearing then uh, much later. Um, and we have to wait for the written judgment and analyze it um, to see on which grounds we uh, uh -huh. But she, uh, the judge names of grounds why she did not accept the complaint uh, for this court at this time. What were those grounds? I didn't quite understand what they were. Well, the judge ruled here that in foreign policy questions, the German government has a wide margin of um, discretion. Huh. and that the court cannot interfere in this discretionary process um, because these are political questions and not to be decided by a court as such. I saw that uh, when um, the statement from, the Yemen, from Yemen came and was read 
to the judge. I felt she responded more to that than almost anything that had happened before. Do you think that's true? Well, it's great that um, one of the claimants um, got his voice heard here in the, in the courtroom, not in person, only through his lawyer by reading his statement. Um, but I think that was one of the impressive uh, moments uh, of the hearing um, to hear a voice uh, from Yemen um, addressing the German court on um, the way they suffer in Yemen.